did it! Fantastic. I'm I cannot believe all three bikes. Oh. Oh, dear. Ah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Wounded? Congratulations, yes. Yes, I am a bit. Hello, Good stuff. That's it. I became a biker. Oh, I'm being left in the field of battle, but I still have a few beers and what? At least, Peter, say congratulations. You just didn't open it. Well done, you breathed. It won't say that. Well done, you breathed it for this time. Do you think slide. it's going to say that? Well, it is. It's going to say, well done. It doesn't. Right, what does it say? It says you haven't finished. Oh, come on. No, well, that's. But we have finished. It says the actual finishing point is a bar hang bar in Heilong Bay. As it's only accessible by water, it's probably a good idea to modify your bikes so they can float. No, but look on the bright side. If no. it's possible... What? No. No, think. If it's possible here to get a helmet made overnight, it must be possible to get your bike converted into a jet ski overnight as well. It has to be. I'm sure they do it all the time. How yeah. hard can it be? Don't say that! So, it was time to find a workshop and cue the music. The wheels will be there and there. Da, 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 da. The engine needs to be the other way. <laughs> The next morning, we stood on the beach and looked out over Heilong Bay, which is quite simply Vietnam's biggest surprise. It is a spectacular limestone maze, and hidden in there somewhere was our bar. All we had to do was find it, and luckily we had just the machines for the job. James had attached his bike to a traditional fishing boat, using the engine to power the propeller. You've just completely disassembled your motorcycle. It yes. isn't a motorbike anymore, is it? Front wheel. It's gone. Engine mm -hmm. isn't where it's supposed to live. Well, there was nothing in the rules that said the engine had to stay in the same place. That's... A... It's magnificent, I know. It's very... I've, I've gone with the Minsk principles of simplicity, you see. I have a rudder steerable from the bars, cables, and then it's just a chain drive down to prop, and I'm away. And that's just the standard pedalo, sort of... Yeah, this is just a pedalo with a few extra floats on it. I'd been even more ingenious, turning my Vespa into a Mississippi-style paddle steamer. Now, as it turned out, my simple plan was very difficult, because the Vespa weighs 940,000 tonnes. So I've needed four canoes full of foam the main problem, though, is that with cracked ribs, I couldn't operate the kickstart. Could you start my engine for me? Because my right, neither of my legs are working. Yeah. As you're injured, I'll reduce the price. <laughs> $900,000. It was time for the off. It's working! I have propulsion! Yeah, hey! But then, in true Top Gear amphibious tradition, it all went wrong for James. First, he crashed into me. Go away! I'm trying. Why are you doing this to me? It's that way, you blithering idiot! Then he crashed into some netting. Oh, bloody hell! And then, as Hammond and I got going... Yeah! Once you got it going, it's like water skiing! <laughs> he sank. No! No! Cock! Why has it done that? As his boat was towed back to shore, Richard and I thought about going back to help. But we didn't. I did not expect anything like this. It's magnificent. James, meanwhile, on the beach, in what can only be described as a crashed airliner, a scene from Lost. Well, what I've done is I've found Hammond's spare pontoons from the workshop just over there. I've employed these local blokes to use the best traditional Vietnamese boat building knot technology to lash it all together. It gives me more buoyancy, stops the stern falling into the water, stops it filling up. On the butt, 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 butt away, off I go. But I have got a lot of catching up to do. 
Out in the bay, there were problems too. My Vespa had stalled and I needed Hammond's legs to kick it back into life. Ow. Ah! Ah! Right. I'll get on my wasp. That was truly ridiculous. Oh, all we've got to do is get back to yours. Oh! Arsing hell! We're going well so far. Yeah, it's going very well. Half an hour later, my new improved boat was ready, so I set off in pursuit of the others and the elusive bar. Come on! 1,969 islands in here. Bahang. Hello, Bahang. Bahang. I think he thinks we're idiots. Come on! Yes! Where'd they go? We'd got desperate and had even resorted to looking in caves. You know when Attenborough travels the world and goes to incredible natural sites like this? Yeah. He doesn't usually pitch up on a homemade amphibious scooter. Uh, no. In a cloud of two-stroke smoke. No. And that's where he's been going wrong. It's not a big motorcycle, just a groovy little motorbike. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys that two wheel buy. OK, if you've just tuned in to Britain's favourite car show, <laughs> what's happened is Richard and I have driven into a cave looking for a bar that isn't here, and we have no reverse gear. Still, could be worse. God, that was going so well. My traditional Vietnamese fishing knots have come undone and my centuries-old fiberglass outrigger has drifted away. This is gonna work. After a 1,000-point turn, yeah. Jeremy and I were out of the cave. Oh, I wasn't worried, I wasn't scared. And with only a few hours of daylight left, we really couldn't afford any more problems. Ah! Water has got into the electrical system. And the 60,000 volts is coursing through everything that's metal, including the frame on the boat, the frame of the bike. Our bike skis were in a bad way. Come on! But then... Life! There's life! It's a bar! It's an umbrella! It's a bar! Yes! The little speck over there is Hammond and sure of it. Hammond! Hammond! It's there! Sadly, there wasn't much I could do with this information. <laughs> because my steering was broken. All I can do is go in circles. And so it seemed the non-biker would get there first. Come on! And that is how we do that. The question now was, would all of us make it before the eight-day deadline expired at sundown? Why? I can't do anything because I haven't got reverse. Eventually, blind luck brought Hammond close to the pontoon, where I was sadly too busy to help him more. Just that bit of rope there, look, that black rope is long enough. Swim. No. Come on. Come on. Another foot. Put your back into it. With the swan lined up, I gave the engine a burst. Ah, ha, ha. Damn it. Ah, ha. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Using nothing but currents and the wind, Richard Hammond's idiotic lids appears to have made it. Have a beer. <laughs> <laughs>